today you guys know what they look like I don't really have to get crazy but I do want to tell you a story so I went a little hype beast esque esh whatever and when they dropped the Yeezy in this colorway uh what the fuck zebra whatever the fuck um I needed a pair so I was like okay I can't get it from any stores it's not gonna happen Yeezy raffle at Adidas 88 pairs which means 10 pairs after they do whatever so I went to go or actually I went to StockX first and I had put in I saw like the saw like, like this thing going on online they were like auctioning off a pair for like 1800 I, I go on StockX and like I'm not gonna lie I think the price was like 13 13 something and I was like all right well if they're auctioning it off to resellers for that much then fuck it I'll pay whatever it is so I put in the bid or I put in the offer it gets accepted that day cool perfect two days later I get a response like hey they shipped us a Fugazi pair or they didn't ship or whatever the situation was on their end now StockX has a policy where if the seller doesn't come through on their end whether it's a Fugazi pair it doesn't come in I'll probably throw the disclaimer up they charge the seller 15% of what they were selling it for uh, they don't tell you you don't get that 15%. StockX gets that. But StockX works like a bidding site or like uh, an auction site. So they'll put up a pair, someone will put up a pair, and you'll go 800. They'll, somebody else will go 900 until they get close to the number or, you know, they, they hit the point where you just, you might as well just buy the shoe for the price the seller's putting it at. So that 15% that they charge the seller goes into their pocket. So I email them. I was like, okay, here's the deal. Um, I understand that you now have to refund me my money, but now if I want another pair, how does that work in my favor? If you guys are getting 15%, like, what, what, what's the deal? The guy's like, well, you can... He responds to me very quickly. He goes, um, I, I might have left the 15% part out. I was like, now what do I do? Trying to see if they were going to offer me anything before I mentioned the 15% that they get. So he responds to me, hey, you can, you know, re-offer or put another bid in for another pair of shoes and, you know, maybe it'll get accepted. So then I, in turn, respond to him. I was like, um, I'm going to pull the email up, actually. Uh, Thank you for your recent purchase on StockX. This is from a gentleman named Russ. Uh, unfortunately, we've encountered an issue with the seller. We're very sorry, but we won't be able to fulfill this order. But happy to deal with the seller issues instead of you, okay? Uh, the system works, which is bullshit, okay? Uh, we've issued you a complete refund, which should process in one or two business days blah 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 uh free shipping on your next purchase get the fuck out of here um free shipping like what the fuck is that gonna do for me so i then hit him up i hit him back i was like all right um what exactly was the issue uh i would have purchased at a better rate now you have put me in a place to have to pay even more uh how do you rectify this issue on your end so that was my response to the dude uh, he then responds, so I didn't mention the 15% yet, so I basically was like, whatever, uh, uh, we always do our best to get the seller to ship, however, the seller is now suspended from StockX, uh, they don't mention that they get 15% from me either, uh, we never guarantee prices, and you can always bid the same price you originally paid, so if I bid the same price I originally paid, like, obviously, if the price went up, why would anybody sell me that pair, like, oh, I heard you had a bad time? Oh, some seller gave you some bullshit? Like, we'll just give you the pair for... No, they're not going to do that. Like, you, as the governing site here, have to figure out how you're going to help me out as a customer. It's not the first time I bought from StockX. It's not like I'm spending $200. Like, it's whatever. Uh, so then I respond to Russ. In all honesty... Hmm, this is where it gets good. Let me try and bring my laptop a little closer so I'm not, like, leaning all over the place. So, uh... I respond to him, in all honesty, I'm sure you're aware of the current rates, meaning obviously you know that the price went up and the increase. Uh, I'll have to pay more to own a pair. Uh, I'll have to pay to own a pair, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm not sure what your vetting process is about, what your vetting process is, but a stricter policy when the seller is forced to pay more than 15% to the buyer they inconvenienced. I won't see a dollar of that toward my next purchase, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So my main concern is as a buyer, where 
is my compensation. <sighs> so frustrating. Where's my compensation? What's to keep me shopping with StockX? So, to that they never responded, by the way. Turn me off completely. I, 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 I didn't think like I asked a crazy question. I know that you guys in your policy say that, you know, they charge someone 15% if they don't come through on their pair, 15% of 1400 a couple hundred bucks. Why wouldn't you put that towards my next purchase? Why do you have to receive that? Are you getting inconvenienced? Are you the one that has to refund money? Sure, that's fine, but it wasn't your money to begin with anyway. So what the fuck do you care? Uh, it was just a really fishy situation, but I did pick up a pair. I went over to Goat and I just bit the bullet. I was like, fuck it, I'll just buy a pair off a of Goat just because I was so mad at StockX. Uh, in return, I got this pair. I don't really need to review them. They send you the Goat authentication. I got plenty of pairs of Yeezys, so the paper checks out, which is always like a really big no no. Um, I don't know, man. I, I just. Uh, it's just a very frustrating situation. So you got your. 350 V2 in a black and white colorway, nothing crazy. Red lettering on the Supply 350. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see it. Uh, pull tab across the back, stitching checks out as well. Padding in the back checks out as well. You got your three stripes up against the uh, Achilles counter. Uh, boost, outsole, Yeezy, midsole. Um, I mean, it's nice. It's fire. It's definitely a dope shoe. I need this shoe. Like, I, there's no if ands, or buts about it. Um, some, the olive pair, the black and olive, I didn't pick up. Like, some shit I don't pick up. But I, honestly, like, I really like this pair a lot. And I was kind of, kind of fiend out for it. I, I wanted it. So, when you want something, you go for it. But I, I just didn't like the way the StockX handled the situation. I think that that's kind of bullshit. They should definitely do something better for their customers. I don't think it's a necessity. To even, like, the fact that he didn't even respond to me was a joke. Like you couldn't even be like, hey, listen, I understand where you're coming from, yada, 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 blah, say, blah, say, blah, blow some smoke up my ass, make me feel special, just respond, that's all you gotta do, but instead, you left my email lingering like like I'm a piece of shit or something, so, I, I don't know if I trust their process, number one, number two, I've seen a couple people that have been posting uh, StockX kind of shit about them getting shitty pairs, someone, sent, someone posted a picture from StockX of the Ronnie uh, naked... City Sock 2, and like it was like, I don't even know what the person did to the shoe or how they came, why they thought it was like even feasible to give that pair to someone. Like this, there's like discoloration on the uh, the leather strip going up and down the fucking forefront of the shoe. It was it was really bad, like it was atrocious. And if that was me and a customer and I walked into a store and saw that, I'd be like, nah, chill, I'm not taking that pair. Like, give me a different pair, please. But I don't know, if that's how you authenticate and that's what you want to send people who are spending money, like, I don't know. But regardless, that's my issue with StockX. Uh, I don't really like Goat as much either. Like, I, I don't know, it took them three weeks, two and a half weeks to ship me this pair. I mean, I understand it's snowed in New York, but it is what it is. But I, once I got it, I knew exactly why it took so long because of where they came from. But regardless, like, like give me a heads up. At least StockX, which I will say is a positive thing, they send you notifications. Like, when they get the pair, you get a notification. When they ship out the pair, you get a notification. When the person ships the pair, you get a notification. Uh, go, you actually have to go through a couple of arduous things. Like, go to your profile, go to orders, go to purchase, and then you can track the shipping, which is, you know, I mean, day and age, who wants to do all that extra fucking touching of a screen? You just want to be like, oh, 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 oh are you telling me it's coming? Oh, okay, cool, perfect. But anyway, uh, not too much of a review. I'll show you the on foot. Nothing crazy. It's probably crazy edited because I did too much bullshitting. Um, yeah, I'm out of here. If you guys like the content, shoot the thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, hit the comment section. Uh, subscribe. Why, why not? Fucking subscribe. Hit that button. Tell your friends. Tell your friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend that they need to subscribe to this channel because I can get my subscribers up. <laughs> um, I'm out of here. Peace.